Hello folks, I got my grubbies on again today, get out in the garage. Today we're going to do a, a tune up on the on the old truck. Uh, Notice that uh, the short that I, I posted not long ago, uh, right at the end of the short where I I say uh, 2008, where, right where I say 8, there's a little spark that happens from the, I, I think it's from the uh, spark plug wire over to the throttle body. So the, definitely the, the, the spark plug wires are definitely leaking for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm waiting for the coffee to get done. It's about 40 degrees out here. That's supposed to be the high for today. So uh, I'll get back out in the garage and get busy and bring you along for the ride. Okay, folks, here's all the parts I got. I got a distributor cap, new wires, new plugs, new uh, rotor cap, goes with that, and uh, a can of Berryman B12, which is highly recommended by Derek over at Vice Grip Garage, so I'm going to give it a shot. It says that it uh, cleans the entire fuel system, cleans tank, intake valves, fuel, pump and carburetor uh, and oh up here it says b12 chem tool fuel injector cleaner so that's that was my main reason for getting that everything else is clean i just need to clean those injectors i'll tell you they're quite proud of these parts nowadays last time i did a tune-up you could do one for i don't know 30 40 dollars i didn't just just a little bit of stuff right here i walked out with 136 dollars and 40 cents <laughs> that blew my mind, but you got to have it. So I'm going to try to get my fat butt up in there and and uh, get this stuff changed out. It's been a while since I've done this kind of stuff. So uh, I'll probably do a bit of grunting and groaning. And uh, My hand's pretty much healed up. It's doing pretty good. But uh, I'm sure that I'll uh, knock the bark off a couple more times, changing the plugs out at least. Uh, but uh, I'll bring you along. Okay, according to the uh, data plate here on the front of the truck, the spark plug gap is supposed to be 0 0.035. So I'm going to check all the plugs, if, if I can find my feeler gauge, and uh, make sure that they're all correct. Did you know that they don't sell AC plugs anymore? At least, not where I went anyway. I asked for AC plugs and I got AC Delco completely different looking type of plug hopefully they're as good as the old ACs were okay these are probably about 50 thousandths if not well probably anywhere between 40 and 50 thousandths so I'm, I've been having to gap each one of them uh, and bring them down to 35 Trying to do this where you can actually see it in the camera. Just want just you want just to rub just a little bit whenever you're um, putting the feeler gauge through. That was a little too too much. Bring it back. Just a skosh. There we go. And it might still be just a, a little bit tight. You know, not too far. There. And 
a little bit more. Good. That's what I've, that's what I've been having to do with all all eight of them so far. This was number seven of eight. Trying to get everything ready. I'm looking at all the parts first before I I start with them. I don't know if you can see that or not, uh, but the rotor button is black on the end. The uh, this area in here is nice and. Uh, machined brass but this area here where it should also be nice machined brass is uh kind of uh corroded looking i don't know if it's a coating of some sort on there or what but i'm going to take a little bit of a just a a, a small real fine file and just knock the the black off of it to where it's nice and clean don't want any issues when I put it together to have to go back in and take it back apart again. Uh, could be that I'm wrong, but that's the way I remembered them being in the old days. Was nice and clean brass and not black like that. So here's how I'm going to do it. It's a real fine file. You can hardly even feel the teeth on it. Just uh, rub it enough to make it shiny. There you go. I don't know if you can see the shine on that or not, but I can. That's all I need. We are getting ready to uh, climb up in here and get busy on it. And I happened to look over at the belts. I'm thinking to myself, I wonder if those belts are going to need changing after sitting all these years. And I kind of got my answer. Yeah, that one looks pretty bad. The power steering pump looks pretty bad. The uh, serpentine, or the one driving the alternator, doesn't look too bad, the one with the ribs. But I'll go ahead and change all three of them. Not today, but I will get them done before I start driving this thing. You know you're short and fat when you have to have a chair to get up into a truck under the hood. Here we go. Well, from what I can tell, the uh, plugs are for made for this motor, or <laughs> this motor and probably a thousand other motors, but uh, they are correct for the for the motor. Uh, come to find out, from what I can tell anyway, AC is no longer available, um, and now you get AC Delco, which are now made in China. Imagine that. So, next time I change plugs, I'll definitely be looking at probably some NGKs or, or something like that that's a little bit more well-known. Um, I know I used to race NGKs and, and Bosch plugs back when I used to drag race, but uh, I don't really care too much for these the way they look. But I'm going to put them in. Spark plug so long that I can't get on it. And with this socket that doesn't have the little rubber thing in there, and all of the rubber pieces inside all of my sockets are so cold that it won't let the spark plug in. So with this longer spark plug socket, I need to take the somehow get the rubber out of it. 
and see if I can I can get it going in. I got it started by hand, but it's fighting me all the way. Okay, I got the first one in. I got the second one out. I'm going in with the second one now. Trying anyway. <laughs> Okay, uh, got all but two, or I think, of the plugs out, and I've tried to film this a couple of times, and I'm not seeming to have much success, but these new AC Delco plugs are longer than the auto lights that came out, which makes it really difficult. If you look at this socket, it actually goes up into where the extension has to go, in order to take the plug out. So yeah, I had to find a longer socket, this one here, in order to get the plugs out. Or, I'm sorry, to put the plugs in. The other ones come out without a problem. As you see, they're nice and short. They fit in this deep, deep well socket really easy. But these uh, AC Delco plugs aren't the same. The uh, down here, where we're from, from here down to the end is, is the same, so that's not a problem. But the length of the plug is what, what makes it difficult, it doesn't fit in the sockets, so it's, it's been fighting me all the way. But I'll uh, bring you back once I get all the plugs in, and we'll try to fire it up with the, with the old wires on and see what happens, and then change out the wires. All right, I got all the b plugs changed. Now I've got the road or the cap off, and you can look inside there. They're pretty; those posts are pretty, pretty bad. It's kind of amazing that it was even running at all. But it did sit for 15 years, so there was pretty corroded this rotor button was basically rusted onto the shaft of the distributor I had to pry it off and it also looks pretty pretty rough too so this is a good thing we're changing them out I'm not sure if the wires have been changed before or not it kind of looks like they have because they they weren't on these posts right there uh the uh the wire loom portions of them so i think they were put on but or changed but uh, whoever put the these pieces on put didn't put them on quite right but uh i don't know that they were actually on the exhaust manifolds but uh we'll try to get them in there straight uh, and also put these little pieces of stuff like that. I think that kind of helps protect it on the back side of the engine where it could chafe. So we'll see what we can get done. Hello folks, this is day two of the, of the tune-up thing. I got called away uh, to do something else, so kind of got distracted. But... Uh, I did try, I did get all the spark plug wires on, plugs changed, but I think I got one or two, uh, two of them crossed over here, so in the process of bringing the loom, loom back behind the motor and around, I, I must have gotten two of them confused, so I'll get that straightened out and we'll get it fired up hopefully here in just a few minutes, but uh, uh, it's a little bit... <laughs> This fat boy getting up inside that truck and getting all these wire loom things put back together again is is going to be a challenge, but we'll get there. Okay, looks like I had five and seven crossed, so let's see if the thing will start now. Sound good. 
All right. I guess I got the cap off somehow. Okay, I don't want you guys to think that that I think I know it all because I don't. Uh, I I used to know the uh, workings of the small block Chevy motor and the big block Chevy motor backwards and forwards, but somehow somehow I made the mistake of getting all the wires going in the wrong direction. Everything goes clockwise and I've got all the wires going counterclockwise. So I want to try this again. Crawl up in there and, and get the the firing order is number one is where number one's supposed to be. I know that for a fact, but uh uh I'm gonna get up in there and, and swap all the wires around and see if this thing will finally fire. At least I admit when I make a mistake, when I do something stupid. Did GM have a problem with the connecting these little screws there uh, before they went to this type of distributor that I don't know about? The uh, the ones with this little spring and the L-shaped thing that went around the bottom of the distributor worked great for me. These things here, they're, they're threaded into the cap. You think you're getting it started, you got it all the way down, come to find out the thing, the thing is just sitting there loose as a goose. Uh, and then, of course, you're all up in the back and trying to get it done that way. Pain in the butt. I really wish they just left the good old stuff alone. Still trying yeah. to put this distributor cap on. Boy, am I glad this is not live. There'd be more beep, 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 beep on this thing than, than ever. The craziest thing I ever seen. I, you try to get it down there, and it it just jacks the thing up off the distributor, and and then this little screw here is long enough to hold the oil pan on. Yeah, I'm a little frustrated. As uh, Daryl over at Vice Grip Garage will say, "Help me understand." Anyway, I, I'm going to turn this thing off so you guys don't hear all Okay, here's the screw that came with the new cap. Here's the screw that was on the old cap. This one, the old cap screw, has a little bit of a guide pin that helps you get into the hole and then should start pretty easy. So, I'm going to take this screw and put it where this screw was supposed to go in the new cap and we'll give it a shot that way. I'm not having any luck with this at all. Alright, I finally got that distributor cap on, got the firing order correct. It's running. It still sounds like it's got a bit of a miss to it. Uh, might have to wait and just let things kind of even out. The, uh, The injectors still seem to be pretty flooding and you can see a lot of smoke here in the garage. Have to see if that Berryman's While doing everything, I found where my water is leaking. Right back in there, where the heater hose. That's something else I have to fix before I can I can take it on a cruise. And I still gotta clean up all these wire loops. Now that I got them running. That might be for another day. 
That thing distributor's got more me out. Got more bad news. Look at here. Typically, you don't see air coming up through your radiator. so difficult to put on in all my life uh, would you, whichever um, engineer came up with that idea they should be flogged <laughs> but anyway uh, it's a little concerning the air bubbles in here from what I understand uh, the uh, with the being a closed system anytime any air can be introduced into the system it can cause that uh, the hose back here leaking really bad now because I it all comes back around where the spark plug wires come out and I've been moving it around so I evidently cracked it work worse than what it was before probably that's where my my water went for from the radiator while it was sitting of course another possibility would be a head gasket uh, I did check the oil after I turned it off and there is no water in the oil not even condensation so uh, I'm pretty sure that the head gaskets are healthy uh, it could be a, a bad water pump it could be a bad thermostat uh, and from what I can tell that's about it I mean if you guys have any other ideas of what might cause that on a truck that sat this long Please uh, put me some comments down there and, and let me know what you think. I sure would appreciate any any uh, any guidance. I mean, I, I'm pretty familiar with, with the small block and big block Chevys, and I have seen this before, but it was always a uh, problem with, with the head gasket. And like I said, I, I don't see that in this engine yet. No, no water in the oil at all, so... Uh, if you would, let me know what you think. I'm going to call this one, this video done for the day. We'll address all this stuff at a later time. Uh, I, I did get the uh, the window seals and everything ordered. Uh, they should be here Monday or Tuesday. Um, and, and I can start working on getting this thing to where I can at least pull it out. What I was planning on doing was, was getting that done doing a tune-up, getting that done, pulling it out, and then uh, bring the uh, dashboard in here and start working on, on refurbishing the dashboard. Uh, that was going to be my last big video and then take this thing for a nice drive. But with this problem, of course, I, I'm going to have to address that first before we go anywhere. But I'd still be able to move it out and, and, and do other things inside the shop. Uh, but for now, I'm going to call it done. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And most of all, thanks for coming along for the ride.